Hey guys, it's Natalie. So today I want to do a new video. I'm going to be doing a review on a product as well as just mentioning a few products I've really been liking, especially for my skin. So for those of you guys who don't know, I have very dry skin. It's pretty much dry throughout like the whole year, but especially like in the winter time, it becomes really difficult to work with. But about a month ago, I noticed my skin was just in a horrible condition like usually it's around the winter I expect it I expect it to get dry you know maybe a little bit more sensitive and stuff like that but it was pretty bad and it was just really dry and tight and even getting red and then started getting flaky and just not attractive looking so I had it like right here on the sides of my nose right here on my face my forehead and just like this is not okay because you know besides the way that it looked it was just very uncomfortable and I didn't like how it felt. But you know sometimes I'll put on like full on liquid foundation and then go out and the few times I did that it was like horrible because I would cover it up everywhere. I put a little bit of foundation those places that I knew were kind of just being weird at the moment. By the end of the day it's like it was so dry and cracked right there. I'm like oh my gosh I was out in public and it was looking like this. Wow. So I kind of knew that I wanted to go on a mission and just find like a good moisturizer to help this and get my skin kind of back to the normal way that it was. That I know my skin is dry, but it should not be that bad. So I went to Ulta a few weeks ago and I was like, okay, I'm going to go, go talk to like the people there, see if, you know, they can help me out, tell them what's going on and what I'm looking for. And no one would help me. So there was only a few people working that day and there was someone at the register, people in the salon area and... I'm trying to walk around and go find people and I couldn't find anyone so I'm like what the heck so I decided to kind of just go through the wall of moisturizers and was looking around and just kind of looking for stuff you know that was deep conditioning and for dry skin you know to really help with the moisturizing and stuff like that but I was looking and a lot of them were pretty pricey honestly so they were around like $20, $25, $15, $17 and then I saw there was one and it caught my eye because it said basically what I was looking for. It said it was for um, extremely dry skin and to kind of repair it and the price was only $7.99 as opposed to like these $20 ones. So I picked it up and it is this one, uh, Eucerin Professional Repair Extremely Dry Skin Lotion and let me tell you I love this stuff. I am so happy that I picked it up. It has definitely done what I wanted it to and more. And so I'll describe the product a little bit to you guys. So what it is, is it's this really kind of lightweight moisturizer, but if I get a little bit of it out for you guys, you can see that it's kind of like on the liquidy side, so it will even drip down if I like held it that way, but it's very milky. And so the great thing about this is you can go ahead and apply it and then it quickly absorbs into your skin as well as leaving it moisturizes. Because I don't know if you guys have tried those moisturizers that, yeah, it absorbs quickly, but then it's kind of like gone so you feel like I just put it on and it doesn't even you can't even tell that you put it on because it didn't really do anything this is not like that after it goes on you will feel that your skin just kind of feels softer and moisturized and like something is in there but it doesn't leave like a nasty thick residue on top as well it's not greasy or anything like that so I was really happy with that as well and then you know as it says on here it's professional repair I had been using this Every day I used it at night and then I kind of used it a little bit later in the night because I stay up really late. But I would, you know, go ahead and put it on, use it at night and then in the morning put some on and then, you know, put on SPF because, because this doesn't contain SPF, it's just a moisturizer. It doesn't have anything to protect your skin. So if you do use this, you know, you need to use some type of sunscreen, some protectant like that. But I did notice it starting to really work because each day I used it, it made my skin softer and softer and it kind of got rid of the redness and it just really improved the quality of how my skin was. And I was like, oh my gosh, so happy I picked this up, especially for the price that it was and I'm just really happy with it. I do find, you know, the best time to use it, especially for me, is like, you know, you go wash your face or take a shower and then you kind of like pat your skin dry. You know, at that point where it's still slightly, slightly damp, you want to go ahead and put it on right then because then it just kind of, it works the best that way because it absorbs very quickly but kind of mixes with the moisture of your skin that you have right then. It just works wonderfully. But I absolutely love this stuff. I'll go ahead and read the back of it for you guys so you guys can see what it's about. 
but it says it's a moisture rich formula <laughs> yet lightweight and fast absorbing strengthens the skin barrier to lock in moisture improves moisture reserves to help prevent dryness from reoccurring for healthy looking skin and it's fragrance free and it won't clog your pores so definitely recommend this stuff especially if you have skin that is like mine and yeah it's dry or it's red or it has a tight feeling then definitely look into this it was $7.99 when I picked it up, but I looked on Ulta.com and it says it's like $6.49, so that's slightly cheaper, right? So just definitely look into that if you have skin like mine. Then for foundation, because my skin was acting like this, I was like, you know what? I want stuff on my skin, but I kind of don't want to feel like it's there. Because for those of you who have dry skin, you definitely know how it is that you don't want to feel like you have heavy things on your face because it's going to feel kind of like irritating. So these have been giving me enough coverage um, as well to just kind of even out my skin tone but still be very lightweight. So the first one I've talked about a million times is the Maybelline Dream Smooth Mousse and I've this is like my third one that I've used of these. It's this cream product and it's just very lightweight. You can kind of just put it on the places that you need to. So the places where I want to even my skin kind of right here, nose, forehead, stuff like that. And just great kind of for everyday use very lightweight and then I'll put a little bit of just kind of any type of like setting powder on top of that so I've been using the um, wet mild coverall powder that works pretty well for that and then the other one I've been using just kind of back and forth in between these is the Misha uh, perfect cover BB cream this is the lighter color I think there's this one and then like a medium color I'm not sure how many colors there are but this stuff has been great as well so again just kind of the main areas that I needed to kind of even out my skin tone so here and here stuff like that and I've been loving these for that so I do on any type of foundation or any product like that, that I put on my face I'll go ahead and put a setting powder just because it it sets it. it I don't like put so much on that it makes it completely matte but I do want to have it so that it kind of feels like it's set there in place and like I said because your skin you know if it's dry you don't want to feel like you have a ton of product on your face for blush you know I wanted to have something that would leave a little bit of color there because my face is very pale and I need to look kind of alive but I've been using this one and it has you know kind of a sheen and shimmer to it and honestly before I was like why do people use those things with shimmer all on their face why 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 but I found a good reason to use this so uh, this is the Milani Minerals Blush and Luminous and this one I believe it's actually discontinued but they do have like a baked version of it at the stores so it's just this really pretty um, kind of pinkish peachish color and it has like a little bit of a gold sheen to it and I get just kind of any blush brush and we'll put some of it on the brush and then just kind of lightly sweep it on and blend it out and so it gives a nice light color and because it has a shimmer in it it gives like a little bit of a glow so just give you kind of that fresh healthy looking skin you know kind of the skin that you want to have during the summer and so I've just absolutely been loving it for so that. So these are my products I've just really been liking for my skin and how it's been in these conditions but also because you know it's been warm as well so these are really great for just being lightweight you don't really feel them on your face that much type of product and I totally recommend them uh, again if you have very dry skin and you're like oh what do I do to help it this is a great product and it's not that expensive honestly for about like you know eight dollars compared to all those other products out you there you know that may say like oh you need this and this will help your dry skin it's only like thirty dollars this I think it'll do the trick for you so definitely go check that out but if you have any questions or comments go ahead and leave those down below if you have dry skin please let me know down below in the comment I'm always looking for people who have dry skin like me just kind of to you know compare products and stuff like that because I feel there's a lot of people on YouTube that have oily skin or maybe combination skin but dry skin I don't hear of as much and I'm always looking for people because I'm like hey you and I have something in common let's talk about this if you don't and you have oily skin you should leave a comment down below anyways because we can just chat and yeah if you have dry skin let me know what you guys use to kind of help your skin what's your favorite foundation and stuff like that and uh, that is going to be it for today and I will see you guys next time all right I don't remember what I was saying.